Imagine your country is going through a huge political crisis. You have a new leader and several states have new governments. To add to this, not only is your country facing political crisis, but also economical, health, and defense. And then, the worst thing that could ever happen, happens. The coronavirus hits Malaysia. Malaysia was in some serious trouble. But don't you ever underestimate the power of Malaysia. Here are 15 ways that Malaysia did the impossible. Number 15, donations and volunteer organizations. So many people volunteered and so many organizations helped out. For example, Amaret provided healthcare workers with food, AC units, and raised over 3 million ringgit for medical supplies. Malaysian Rockets stand up united for nation of diversities at misadvertises. They show the world they can, no matter what beliefs, races, religions, its transient borders and human nature. Malaysia recovery rate is 80%, among the best in the world. This is something that we can remember forever. Number 14, top doctor. Dr. Noor Hassam Adula has been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world at fighting the coronavirus. And not only does he present accurate facts, he's able to do it in a way that gathers support and also keeps people calm as he does it. For now, as long they have Dr. Noor Hisham, everything gonna be okay. Of course, with the of all frontliners. Congratulations all the Malaysia citizens, you did a good job. Stay at home, this proverbs is so befitting what Malaysia endure right now. Number 13, the movement control order and the enhanced movement control order. These things are not easy to pull off and it took so many people and different organizations to work together to have them work. Malaysians love to help, right? In fact, many more willing to volunteer to help the police enforce the MCO if give a change. But enforce can handle well no problems. Number 12, indirect volunteers. There are so many people that helped out and volunteered and did so many different things like food delivery. Number 11, building temporary hospitals. Malaysia was able to build temporary hospitals very efficiently and quickly. For example, the largest agro park in Asia was able to be built into a hospital in three days. Three days? I just want to say, wow. Number 10, the Tublet Cluster. The Tublet Cluster complied with any order from MOH and they never complained even though they had to wait long hours in the heat. Number 9, banks. Banks lent to the borrowers for six months. So right, let's give our two gratitude to our frontline workers, the medical team, police force, army, riders, and the bank to six month, yeah, six month freeze payment. Wow, the welfare team as Ustas Abit Liu and all those unknown person who really contribute and was animals. God bless everyone and Malaysia always bullet. Bullet. Number 8. Universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food as well. Somehow, I feel proud of Malaysia after watching this. Even when we have a new leader, backliners, and citizen whom respect PKP as a Indonesia. Number 7. Stipends. Nearly 4 million homes received up to 1,600 ringgit. I get teary at watching this. I'm so proud to see how amazing Malaysian is handling COVID-19. Indonesia is currently doing an awesome job too. But mad respect to Malaysia. Number 6. Ignoring politics. Opposition leaders came together and forgot about politics for the good of Malaysia. Now that is really cool. Politician forget about politics and focus on the country during COVID-19. They are united in facing COVID-19 and forgetting for a moment political problems. 
and I think it's uh wow. Number five, protecting the most vulnerable. Malaysia did a great job in protecting those that were most vulnerable, homeless and foreign workers. They were put in public halls and provided a tent. Number four, Malaysians returning home. Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided a free hotel, free food, and COVID-19 testing during their two week quarantine. Number three, respect for frontline workers. I've never seen so much respect and love for frontline workers. It was so beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave to the frontline workers. Of course, with the help of all frontliners, without the cooperation from all, they can do this. When facing the common enemy, everyone is a frontliner. They are heroes. Number two, fixing the PPE shortage for frontline workers. At the beginning of the crisis, there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers. And so, Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable. And so she took the initiative to organize an entire team to make PPE. Prisoners made PPE, college students made PPE, even a Malaysian born with no arms didn't let that stop her from making PPE. Prisoner making PPE? I just wanna say again, wow! And number one, most important, is teamwork. It didn't matter if you were a celebrity or an average person. It didn't matter your social status. It didn't matter your gender, your religion, your ethnicity. All Malaysians came together for the better of Malaysia. And that's how Malaysia was able to do the impossible, to go from a country that had three times more cases than any other country in Southeast Asia, to now be one of the safest countries in the entire world. In Unity Vistain, kita jaga kita. Yeah, kita jaga kita. Proud to be one Malaysian. Malaysia boleh. May you all continue to triumph and be keep away from danger. Pray for us in Indonesia and also in other countries who are still fighting against COVID-19. Again, congratulations Malaysian. Pray for us. Pemanasan lidah sebelum melakukan bahasa Inggris. I see you again, I see you again, 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 again. The COVID-19. I always, always, always we pray. We pray in the God. These are all frontliners. I see yes Ah, bakal susah ini bahasa Inggris. I I see Frontline workers, the medical team, police force, army, rights and um a people Malaysian or Indonesian asli ini susah banget bahasa Inggris. <laughs>